Today we're taking a look at Shave Bowls, Mugs, and Scuttles. The first thing we need to know about these guys is why do we need them and what are they actually for? Although you could take a shave soap like this and get some soap on your face and lather it up either with your fingers or with a brush, you'll get much thicker and richer lather using one of these. Now for the sake of this video, as I'm talking about shave bowls and mugs, although there may be a little bit of aesthetic difference, they are both essentially the same thing. So I may use those interchangeably throughout this video. Now you're gonna run into two main types of shave bowls. You'll have your single walled, which is usually just something like this. It's got a single wall, fairly shallow with a wide mouth. And you'll also find what is called a scuttle, which is a double walled bowl with a place to place hot water inside to help keep your lather nice and warm without getting it watered down. Now you can find some fancier ones that have a bigger hole on the mouth of it here so that you can even put your brush in there to keep your brush warm as well. However, those tend to be more rare than your standard scuttle like this one. Now you can get shave bowls made out of many different materials, anything from stone to ceramics. Heck, you can even get ones that are made out of horn. However, your main materials are going to be ceramics, stainless steel, and plastics. Now if you're clumsy, a ceramic is not going to be the best option for you because things happen, you drop one of these and well, they end up in pieces. And in that case, what you'll want to look into is something like a metal or plastic shave bowl. A metal shave bowl is definitely going to be a lot sturdier than pretty much any of your other options. Because, I mean, you can throw this thing up against the wall, on the floor, whatever you want to do to it. And as long as it doesn't somehow get a hole in it, you can still use it as a shave mug. A stainless steel bowl is fairly light, so they're actually decent for travel as well. Now wood is also another option. I tend to not go for the wood ones as often because well they do tend to get a little bit nastier and they are harder to clean out as well as eventually they can warp or they can crack if not taken care of properly. Now if you're looking for a shave bowl to have on your counter or displayed someplace, a wood bowl is definitely a good option for that. Then you've got your plastics. Now this will include anything from a hard plastic to your silicones. And they come in many different shapes and sizes, depths, and most plastic ones will have some type of texture on the bottom and the sides of the bowl. Now why would you want texture on the bottom and the sides of your bowl? Well that's fairly simple because when you have shave soap on your brush, you want something to be able to agitate that shave soap. This will help you make a much thicker and richer lather in a quicker period of time. Now one thing that you will want with a texture at the bottom of your bowl is something like this. It's a very simple pattern with large bumps and a lot of space in between them. This allows you to be able to get in there with your brush and remove a lot of that soap without any of it getting stuck down there or very little of it getting stuck in any corners and such. Where something like this rubber one here that I picked up for this video is not going to be a great option. And the reason why is because of all of the texture that is in the bottom of it and how close together all of that texture really is. It's going to not allow the shave soap to really get picked up on the brush very easily. Now if your bowl has a flat bottom in it and it's not textured at all, you are basically going to be using the brush itself to try to make all of the lather and there's nothing in there to agitate it so it will take a little bit longer. Now you can absolutely get a good lather this way just depending on how much time you're wanting to spend. However if you're going to take your flat bottom bowl and put a piece of soap in the bottom of it and then make your lather like that, I find that there's no issue because then the soap itself is acting as the agitator for the shave brush and soap. 
Now, unfortunately, I don't have a shave bowl with a lid to show you guys. However, there are especially some of the wood ones that come with a lid and really they're not really needed but if you don't want your shave soap to be sitting out in the bathroom all the time uncovered then you can go ahead and get one however you are going to need to come back a couple hours after you have made your lather to put that on. The reasoning is that you don't want your shave soap to be sitting in a bunch of water at the bottom of the bowl. So even though that I'm not covering my shave soap with a lid, I still rinse it out, make sure that I get any of the made lather out of there. Then I will go ahead and give it a quick shape and put it on my counter. Now, if I was going to be putting a lid on that, I would come back a couple hours later and go ahead and do that. Now that we know what kind of options we have for shave bowls, what are some things that we want to look for when getting our own bowl? Well, the first thing is going to be a nice wide mouth. I would suggest anything that is at least three and a half inches to about five. Now the reason why you want a large opening is so that you can easily get your brush in there. This is one of the reasons why a regular mug does not work very well. See, there, there's just not enough room in there to not hit up against the edges. Another reason why a regular mug doesn't work very well is because, well, it's deep. My entire brush just disappears in it. So although a regular mug can do in a very tight pinch, I would try to stay away from using one of these. And the depth to me is just as important as how wide it is because something too shallow and well, you're not gonna have very much room in there at all to make a lather. And you may run into the situation where you get a new shave soap and you take the bowl that you've always used, put that shave soap in there and well, the shave soap can actually be above the uh, bowl. So that does not work very well at all. Now, personally, I don't think there's much use for a shallow bowl. They just don't work very well. So unless if you're using this just to load your brush, I don't think that this would be one that I would ever get. However, there is a use case for a deep bowl. And that is if you're going to be taking your shave soap and putting it down at the bottom because then you have essentially just made your bowl shallower. Now the next couple of things that you're going to want to pay attention to are ones that are hit or miss if you're going to be ordering it offline. And that's because they really are things that you need to hold and touch to really figure out if you like it or not. And one of those is weight. A ceramic scuttle filled with water can get pretty heavy pretty quickly. And so if you're on the weaker side and you can't sit there and hold this without getting shaky or having your hands or your arm hurt, then this would not be the right thing for you. And you would want to go with something much lighter like maybe the horn or a plastic shave bowl. And the same goes for ergonomics. Now ergonomics is more or less how something feels in your hands and how comfortable it is to hold. For me, the metal scuttle that I reviewed just doesn't quite work for me because I can't hold it like this without burning my fingers because, well, there's really hot water inside. And trying to hold it by the little handle here with water inside and the soap just didn't work very well. So the ergonomics of this one, although I do like it, just was not the greatest. Where on the other hand, a regular shave bowl, I can hold fairly decently and even have different options to hold it usually if one position gets uncomfortable. Now one thing that is nice about some of the smaller shave bowls is that you can kind of palm them. So if you've got small hands, look for a smaller shave bowl or mug because they're gonna be much easier to handle even though they don't have quite as much room to make a lot of lather. It just means that you'll need to make lather in between uh, applications. 
Now that you know a little bit about your options for the bulls, as well as what to look for when picking out a bull, you definitely need to know how to use a shave bull. And well, it's fairly simple, fairly self-explanatory. However, there are four different ways to get a shave soap to your shave bowl. One of them is fairly simple. That is to wet the shave soap and put it to the bottom of the bowl, giving it a little bit of pressure. And you can see even without this shave soap being wet, it sticks up pretty well. And now as I were to make lather with this, it would only get more and more stuck to the bottom of the bowl. Now if you have a shave soap like Arco, you can usually kind of break off a piece of that and squish it down a little bit. Then simply put it to the bottom of the bowl and once again kind of work it around into the bowl and just soap in a bowl. Now if you have a shave soap that comes in a tube, you can go ahead and just put however much down at the bottom of your shave bowl that you want to use that shave session. Now the fourth and final way is to wet your brush as damp as you want it, then go over to your shave soap that may or may not be in its own container and really load that brush up with soap. Then you can simply take it over to your shave bowl. Now, no matter how you have that shave soap in the bowl or have gotten it to the bowl, you are simply going to swirl while putting just a very little bit of a pressure. Then depending on the size of the bowl will depend on if you are making a enough for your entire shave or just for your first, second or third application. Now if you're looking for that hot lather shave that you imagine that you'd get at a barber shop, a scuttle is really going to be the way to go for you. Because with putting that hot water in the hole here, it's going to warm up the entire surface of the shave bowl itself, which then will help keep your lather nice and warm between shaving directions. Now, although the shaving scuttle is your best option for this, your second option is going to be a ceramic bowl. As you can fill it up with nice hot water before you get in the shower or a few minutes before your shave. As you let it sit, that temperature will work its way into the ceramic. You can dump it out, make your lather inside, and it will be warm and ready for you. Now throughout this video, I've shown you my collection of shave bowls so far. And you might be wondering which one is my favorite or what do I think would be the optimum shave bowl. Now for me, it has to have a really wide opening because I really like to be able to get some nice swirls in there. As well as it needs to have some type of texture on the bottom. However, not this round one that you're seeing in this bowl here. Why do I not like the round? Well, because you're going around in a circle. That's not agitating it much. Where the agitator in this bowl here has a very nice texture as well as it is nice and open so that no shave soap gets stuck down in there. Now, although both of these bowls can make quite a bit of lather, I'd actually prefer something right around the center because I think that the optimum height for a shave bowl is a shave knot. I think that if you can put this down into a bowl like this and the edge of the bowl come right up to the handle, I think that that would be the optimum height. Whereas you can see with this one here, it's quite a bit under it. This blue one here, it's quite a bit over it. And then it only gets deeper when you put a little bit of pressure on it to agitate that soap. So after looking at those two qualifications for me, the one that comes the closest is my scuttle because the scuttle itself is just the right height where the knot is just under the edge of the bowl when I set it inside. And the second runner up under those qualifications would be the simple dip bowl. Yeah, I got this thing for like a dollar fifty and I think that it would work fairly decent. However, it is flat bottomed, so I would have to put a soap in the bottom of it 
to really help agitate it. So as you see, you don't have to buy something that is marketed as a shave bowl. However, it definitely comes in handy if they are because they will have those agitators and such at the bottom. If you'd like to check out the bowls that I have talked about today, check out the video description below. And if you would like to learn about shaving razors, go ahead and make sure to check out this playlist up here. Down below, that's going to be a video that you may enjoy as well. Until next time, as always, you have a good one.